Charlie back again for Open for Business in Metalbury, Essen House in Elkhart County, the pleasant surprise in the country. We're gonna take you all over the incredible food at the restaurant Amish homestyle cooking, shopping, family fun, a place to stay, to have business meetings, conferences, and we're gonna talk to Joel Miller about everything here at Essen House. with Joel Miller, campus manager here at beautiful, relaxing Essen House. It is so good to be here. I've been here many times over the decades and I always come away refreshed. And the word respite comes to mind for people that come here, right? My family's always wanted to have a spot where they can uh, just get away and uh, you know, have a relaxed time or a respite. Uh, we've built our buildings to kind of house that, uh, whether you're at our hotel or restaurant, there's always extra seating areas and. Our uh, hallways at the hotel are extra wide with couches and uh, places to sit outside and just to relax, get one with nature, back with God, and, and uh, have that relaxation as a family. Talk about the history, the traditions of Essen House. Yeah, you know, uh, it goes back 50 years at this point or more, and uh, my uh, mom and dad started with uh, uh, one restaurant and decided we wanted another one and, uh, and bring in folks uh, with real food, you know, and real cooking. Some of the recipes are my grandma's, and so we've tried to stay true, which is hard after 50 years, but we really work hard at making sure we uh, don't stray uh, from what people expect when they come here. After 50 years, sometimes they say it's the same. Let's talk about some of the things that people come to eat when we're talking about the main restaurant meals. Yeah. Well, of course, we have our roasted chicken, which we've had uh, from the beginning, and our roast beef. Those two are probably the tops uh, when it comes to uh, meals real mashed potatoes with real butter and uh, those types of things that people don't always make at home anymore, but we do with dressing and noodles. And of course we make our own noodles as well. And then to finish it off, all our pies. Oh. We've got 30 different kinds of pie. 30. And we make everything from scratch, from the crust to the puddings to the fillings and everything. So it's a good way to end a meal. Now I saw some folks eating in here. Look yeah. here. Now you can still do that. It that's is right. It. Hopefully they're not six foot five. Yeah, right? See, that's a it's not little... an Amish height. Yeah, so this is cozy yep. in here. Hell yeah. People will wait twice as long as the line is just to be able to sit in one of these. And talk about the bakery. Well, the bakery is something that, uh, you know, mom and dad always wanted. And about 10 years into the business, they decided to get one and got it going and breads and donuts and cookies and if you've ever been to our bakery we have big rolls mm -hmm. and uh, the long johns are about as big as you'll find okay. anywhere of course uh, but uh, just fresh made uh, every day and that's what we really strive in our bakery you know you're gonna have uh, product that was made uh, the day before our number one pie you, you probably wouldn't guess what our number one pie is what is your number one pie Red raspberry cream. Red raspberry? Yep. A it, surprise. There's a vanilla pudding inside, but uh -huh. it is the actual number one selling pie we have. An Amish tradition, fry pies. How would you describe fry pies? Yeah, that's a good question, but we uh, put the fruit vanilla or fruit pudding inside, and it's a uh, kind of like a donut wrapped in there in deep fried glaze, right. so it's not very sweet. Well, this <laughs> one happened to fall out. Oh, did that fall out of there? Uh. Oh. Blueberry. Mm. Yeah, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. <laughs> mm. Let me ask you this. Thanksgiving, pies, Essen House, how many do you all get out there? Yeah, well, we get uh, a lot of orders and we do pies, uh, between six, 7,000 pies last year went out Ooh. in two days. The campus here outside, carriage rides, putt-putt golf, various buildings. Take us around. Yeah. Well, you know, we have over 100 acres here, and uh, it, uh, we, mom and dad were uh, forethought and buying some farms when they were available and didn't actually have plans, but now we have this park-like atmosphere where we have miniature golf and we, like you said, carriage rides, bikes for rent, and uh, just a nice environment, uh, especially during the summer. Joel, tell us, where are we now? Yeah, well, we call this the Essen House Village Shops. You're in the middle of all the shops. We have the quilt shop, uh, the large four-story building, there's a clothing store uh, just past the deck here, and then the corn crib and cabin right here, uh, which uh, is an actual cabin. We actually bought two cabins from Ohio and we re-erected them here. 
and uh, we've made a quilt or a gift shop out of it. And the kids play around. We've often put these cows out here. They like to get on them and uh, play on them. And then we have a play gym as well and a play area for the kids. Let's talk about events here. People can have their special events. Yeah, we have uh, the restaurants large enough that uh, we you know can seat a thousand people. And so we have uh, a lot of breakout rooms here at the restaurant where people can host their uh, receptions or dinners for business. But then we have the conference center over at the end, which uh, is three to four hundred people and a lot of receptions over there. Do the same food catering over there as, as they can get here at the Essen House. We have a lot of places for people to have their family gatherings uh, or anything else they might have, graduations. Let's talk about overnight lodging, what people can learn. Yeah, we have uh, a hundred room hotel. Um, we've built over the years, started in 85, and we have an indoor pool area now, a conference center. And so we book a lot of motor coaches as well as family gatherings. It's just individual travel that might want to go to the flea market or they want to go to South Bend to a Notre Dame game. Yeah. It's a special place to be. We've got an outdoor fire pit. And uh, so it's just a, a hang around where people enjoy themselves. The rooms are a little different. They're all decorated different. It's not the same. Yeah. Uh, it has the home feel of Middlebury, of uh, Amish country. And so it is unique in that way. And of course, we have continental breakfast every morning. Sure. And they can be on their way. I want to talk about something that is fairly new in your traditions that continue to build, the classic car cruise-in. Tell us about that. Yeah, you know, I was having uh, uh, lunch with one of my van drivers one day, we were down in the break room, and, and he said he went to a cruise-in that weekend, and I was kind of like, well, what's that? And he told me what it was, and I said, well, I'm trying to get through tonight, it's just a little busier, and uh, he said, well, just hand out flyers, so we did that. He and I started this cruise-in, we had, I think, 23 cars the first night, and he said it'll grow. I said, oh, I don't know, but it just grew and grew. And so uh, we're continuing it. And now we get uh, three, 400 cars a night during the summer. And yeah, we've uh, started this cruise in. We're hopes that people come and just enjoy it. We don't have any uh, regulations. They can bring any kind of car they want, new, old, foreign, doesn't matter. We really just want folks to come out and have a good time. We're a little different. We don't do competitions. Uh -huh. And in that sense, we think people will come, enjoy themselves and yeah. come back again. When you have competitions and they don't quite win, and they're like, I'm never going back there again. But Great we want strength. folks to just keep kind of continuing to be here, enjoy themselves while they're here, and feel good when they leave. Now, can I take this home? <laughs> uh, <laughs> so it, it's Thursdays, when to when? We start in May and we go through September. And if the last one's a rain out, we might do one in October. Right, right. <laughs> <laughs> Can't say no to the last one because it's usually 15 to 1800 cars and lots of people. Wow. So how can people learn more? They're watching this, they want to get into specifics, website, contact, social media. Sure, we've got uh, EssenHouse.com is our website. Uh, you're uh, certainly welcome to be there. And then we're on Facebook as well, where there's a lot of activity uh, a good on page. Facebook. And Instagram, of course, we're giving out messages all the time. And then we, of course, we have a newsletter you can sign up for and get the latest and greatest. So there you have it, EssenHouse.com. Check out their Facebook page. Joel, it's been lovely to talk to you about what you and your family have done and continue to do. Thanks.